Craig Van de Wettering, 49. Craig Krieger going to go up front now. So it's Krieger and Meyerhoff in the front row. Van de Wettering, 49. The 11, Willie Van Camp, 09. Terry Van Roy, the 9. Of rock star wrestler Becky, and then at the back, Matt Bauer in the 18, alongside the 44 of Tyler Vanderboomen. Thirteen laps in honor of Jeff Robbie coming up here now for the roundabout bar and grill figure eights. And we set up free! Let's go. Oh, Meyerhofer leaning on Craig Krieger a little bit there, and that's going to allow Craig Van de Wettering to jump into the lead. Van de Wettering and Terry Van Roy, the co-champions from last season in this division. Meyerhofer, look out! The showstopper stopping a little bit of the show that time. Where's he going? Up, bump, up, up, and away. Trouble for the 32. Van de Wettering up front. Willie Van Camp in the second spot. Terry Van Roy now in third. Van der Boomen just, uh, yeah. Yielding. I love that nine car. That looks slick. Almost a little too pretty to be a figure eight car. But not really. That's Russ Lord Becky for you. Van Camp trying to close it on Van de Wettering. Oh goodness, Bauer going for a little spin there as they are about to enter the first set of turns and that's going to bring out the red. Bauer and Vander Bloomer getting together a little bit there as they go into the first set of turns and we're running out of figure eights in a hurry. Guaranteed top five if you finish this one. Still got three pretty strong contenders up front, though. As we said, it was an interesting end of the year last year here in the Thursday night points when Craig Van de Wettering and Terry Van Roy tied for the championship. Willie Van Camp did not appear on that night, and had he appeared, both of those drivers dropped out of the race. So really all Willie would have had to do was show up and finish, and he would have won the championship, but he was saving the car to win a championship at Slinger. Probably could have ended up winning both. But hindsight is 20 20. Rockstar Russ going to get out and take a quick look at that night car. Those are pretty cool. You see a lot of those older bodies like in dirt street stock divisions. There's actually a, a group of people out of Michigan that put those bodies together. They actually make a little template and they ship that template all around the United States for drivers to make those old Chevys and things like that. It's pretty cool. Is Rockstar Russ going to get back in this race? He got out. He pulled the hood off. He looked under the right front. And now it looks like he's strapping back in. See if he's got enough time to get back out there. Is he putting the helmet back on, too? Ever the showman is Rockstar Russ. Four cars remaining, just four laps into this one. In a figure eight division this year, presented by the Roundabout Bar and Grill. Just up at the corner, at the Roundabout, wouldn't you believe it? 
All right, let's try it again. Look at this. Rockstar Russ is trying to get that thing going again. He's got the wind on that back up. We're back to green. It's going to be a lap down, but like we said, that's still a top five. And actually, he might still be on pace with that 44 car, too. Van de Wettering, Van Camp, Van Roy. You can tell we're in the valley. Top three, all right in the line this time as they go through the first set of turns. Willie Van Camp getting a little bit of a smoke screen from Craig Van der Lettering. Willie Van Camp gets ready to put the pressure on now. A little tap to the back side of the 49. Rockstar Russ trying to close the gap here. That nine car is cruising. Five to go this time by. Who is go going to be up front? Any one of those three. Very capable at this point. Terry Van Roy just kind of waiting back there in third, trying to see how things are going to shake out. Here he comes now, Terry Van Roy around the outside. The good news is that turns into the inside as they go through the right-handers. Is he going to make it work? Terry Van Roy wants second. It looks like he's going to take it away. So now the co-champions from a season ago are first and second as we hit the 10 lap mark with three to go. Van Roy about a car length back of quick Van ordering as they swing into the left-handers now. Trying to make up some ground. Smoke getting a little bit thicker out right of the back side of the 49 car. Doesn't seem to be any worse for the wear. It's not slowing him down. As the surrender flag comes up this time. One to go. And here comes Van Camp putting the pressure back on Van Roy for second. Craig Van Wettering through the X one final time as he swings through the left handers down to the stripe. Going to take the win here on night number one. Craig Van de Wettering, Van Camp will take second. And oh no, Terry Van Roy losing some fluid there on the final lap. Losing a lot of fluid on the final lap. Looks like something amiss on the 09 in the final circuit. So he'll settle for third. Rockstar Russ going to be fourth. Van der Boomer coming out with a fifth spot. And your winner is down in victory lane with Lauren Leach shoving a nice round of applause for Craig Van Der down here in victory lane. Thin's still smoking here. Hey, congratulations. Nice to see you back here. Yeah, um, I don't know how much I'm going to run this year. I might only run full time. Or I might run full time and I might not. I'm going to run when I want to run, I guess. And as long as it's, well, we're always having fun, but whatever time allows. And I got kind of a busy schedule this year with my daughter with baseball and stuff, a t-ball. So we'll see how that works out. Pretty good three-car battle there to finish it off. Oh well, yeah, us, us three, you know, or, well, Willie and Terry especially, I mean, they're, they're at the top of the class, you know, as well, so yeah, it's always going to be fun. I just thought there was more in it, I looked back at that cost, and I'm like, we're only down to like four cars left. Any idea of what the smoke was coming off of uh, in that corner over there? Um, probably the tires. <laughs> <laughs> um, 
I want to dedicate this race to Jeff Woolrabi too. Um, raced with Jeff a long time, and it was an unfortunate incident, but uh, he's always in our hearts and prayers, thoughts and prayers, whatever you want to say. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, who else makes this possible for you, Craig? Uh, Al Huss and Valley Gasket are two uh, main track sponsors tonight. And then uh, Fox Valley Hydrographics, Bedliner Specialists, uh, Precise Welding, Auto Body Specialists, and um, uh, CK Landscapes. Congratulations, Craig Van Wettering in Victory Lane. All right.